weapon buffs. <laughs> his character, we already been knew this character was more than meets the eye. Now, you gotta see for yourself. Yeah, I'd say that the jury was out, but I don't want a, a crap storm of people eating me alive on Twitter, but for sure, this character definitely has some sauce, and especially after all the new buffs uh, and stuff that Robin attained. And this match in particular, we're gonna see you know, potentially a lot of gnarly stuff. Rob, a great character in his own right, but as notorious for being a combo dumpster. You know, once you put your hands on him, uh, it is not fair. I don't know. One little note that I feel is actually going to come into real big handy here for Zamba is the fact that down air is active for five frames. Oh! <laughs> and what a beautiful kill to confirm. All right, Zamba. Who Stop. needs down air when you have forward smash or down tilt? Down tilt from Rob. Legitimately one of the best moves in this game across the entire cast. Zama putting it to very good use very early on in this set. They see Zama applying a lot of uh, boxing pressure up close. Robin not having a great out of shield option uh, to deal with that. So yeah, definitely exploiting one of the uh, f you know flaws that the character does indeed have. And this is what you got to do with any character that utilizes projectiles the same way that Robin does. That being like close range pressure, combo tools, just smother them. Don't let them breathe. They're yeah. not a problem if they're dead. <laughs> All right, here we go. Continuing the onslaught. Jewel trying to get himself back in the thick of things. Ooh, almost catching him with the 11 sword uh, toss. Jewel exceptionally good at using the items uh, you know, that get dropped with Robin. Did you see how far that gyro <laughs> That's a <laughs> place to go. That is so funny. That's when you rev the Beyblade up too far. Yeah, <laughs> it goes flying off the ring and into your kitchen. Okay. All right, so down so not really doing much for Julius. Still trying to figure out what he can do here, start things up on the stock. 100% down, not the best. Ooh, what's the combo? All right. Okay, unfortunate for uh, Zamba right there. The up, the down air, uh, sending Jewel up. So Jewel getting a second lease on life here at the very least. Is he making good use of the level one thunder? Just trying to, you know, slowly inch his way forward against the monstrosity uh, that is Rob. Because Rob, such a difficult character to, to find that comfortable range to play against Hangman. It's like a long range jab of sorts. It's fairly low commitment, and because of how many charges you get on the Thunder Tones, you can put out a lot of those. And even <laughs> beautiful, beautiful shield check. That down smash is ruinous on shields, yeah. especially with a little bit of pressure to chip away. <laughs> oh no, but these, uh, the Robo Lariat uh, <laughs> from Rob coming out right there, so great uh, job from Zamba evening things up. Oh my goodness, but such a nice combo right there with the forward to the 11 Nair. Good stuff from Zamba. Able to get around the ledge pressure uh, that, you know, Robin is able to uh, apply. Jewel forced to recover high. That top put in so much work for Zamba at the ledge so far. But managing oh, to no. rob him. Okay, I was going to say, in the past, I know that Robin's gone on the special fall when she grabs you with Nosferatu offstage. But I guess that was something that has uh, since been changed. Yeah, no, they made this character not get punished for playing the game. And it's probably <laughs> the best thing for Robin. <laughs> That's going to be a punish. Okay, no. Not going to get uh, hit by the arc fire from point blank. We wanted something more, but let's see what the pick is. Just a shield grab. That's fine. Yeah, at that point, keep it simple, stupid. Oh, you, know, you don't right. want to get too creative. Born is live. <laughs> let's see if it gets put to any good use. 113%. You don't need Thorin. You just need one big thwack of a living sword. Yeah, man, it's all squiggly and... Oh, oh, bro, pick up your glasses. Come on. Nah, you don't need those. <laughs> I would hope so. Rob's big enough target. <laughs> All right, so good stuff there uh, from Jewel. And he kind of had his back against the wall early in that, uh, you know, losing that first stock, but right at the ship almost immediately. Like, definitely a, a hard fought battle between both of them. But again, if you don't let Rob play the game, then it's fine. Again, he's such a difficult character to fight against. You know, you can't really zone him out because he has two really good projectiles. And if you get too close, you're going to get grabbed and grappled to death. Indeed. So. They'll be taking advantage of that range and also keeping him disadvantaged for as long as he can. Huge stuff. Setting change, bringing us to final destination, I think is a great pick for Zamba because now it's a little bit less room for Jewel to be able to control, and I feel like that's what was really making the difference. Full up Nosferatu, probably the silliest thing you can expect out of Jewel. <laughs> but like I was saying, like Rob is able to take advantage of all that airspace so well. Meanwhile, Jewel's uh, Robin play is much more outfitted for fighting lateral space. 
So if Jewel can take advantage of the uh, the ledge play, he doesn't have to worry about Zamba just hanging around in the air all the time. Man, that's exactly what we're seeing right oh, now. Oh, my bro! Oh, the flex! Consider your vibes checked, sir! <laughs> As Jewel having enough time in between that kill confirm to look fondly at his weapon of choice. That was fantastic. All right. Zamba got to really reassess what's good after that one. Yeah, the side beat, definitely very, very good. I always, again, like, you know, you don't see a lot of, of high-level Robin play out there, and, you know, Jewel constantly reminding me that Robin's recovery, not as bad as it used to be. No, uh, not at sure. all. Just as a quick note, because there's a good chance we'll see it in the set, perhaps. Uh, Elwyn, it's got plenty of charges, but even if Robin runs out of Elwyn, casting the empty spell will still give her a little bit of a bump upwards. There we go. So, Ooh. there are options. There are options to be had. Yeah, but Zamba definitely looking for an option right now. He's uh, gotten lapped in percent right now, and then some Jewel uh, just having his way with him. Can someone calculate the area of space that's controlled oh. when Jewel jumps and casts Elfire? Yeah, can I get that... Uh can I find out what the medium of that is? Can I find out the Z yeah. for the X and Y axis on Someone that? Someone give me that length. I need you to do like middle school oh, grade wow. homework. Zama's not having any, but he didn't want to do this. Yeah, Zama heard you say <laughs> Zama heard you say homework. He's like, nah, man, it's Saturday. <laughs> I'm good. So Zamba not uh you know, not liking what he saw right there. He's like, alright, let me just you know, concede and we'll see what happens in game three. Zamba playing a bunch of different characters, so his link was looking schnasty earlier. I really want to see it come back out. Oh! But it's down here Krom. No. Okay. It's, we will not see Roy. We will still instead see uh, the dad. All right. The, the, the clone, I guess. All right. A little bit of a lover spout here between Robin and Krom. Let's oh, see yeah. if it pays <laughs> off for, for Zamba. Yeah. Uh, the, the best matchups are always the canonical matchups. <laughs> Shout out to Helper. Let's no go. context to shout us to help her. Okay, that is a dead crumb. This is a grim look for. Is, it, is uh, that a spoiler uh, alert? <laughs> yeah. It is a, oh! Uh, oh no. He got hit with it, but he didn't get right because yeah. soaring slash. Yes, alright, so, so right now, uh, the crumb pick definitely not working out for Zama right now. Just trying to find, you know, a range to play at. Like, obviously, Krom has plenty of airspeed to be able to, to penetrate the defenses that Robin is able to offer, but. The problem is, is that Robin just has so much variety as to what she's able to do against Krom that like Zama's got to be careful about w what he chooses once he's off stage. Yeah, exactly. Oh! <laughs> this is maybe the worst possible thing that could have happened to Zamba. <laughs> he got Jewel to run out of Elwind, and he decided to just help him recover. My girlfriend, female, <laughs> footstooled me, male, to my death. <laughs> You hate to see it, man. R slash not like this. <laughs> Alright, don't get three socked again, Zaba. Come on. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh! Thank you, Zoomber. I'm happy for you. Jeez. Right, you can die in peace now. <laughs> yeah, it looks like oh, that, that air dodge. Not gonna get punished super hard. Good parry, though, on the jab. There you go. The shield pressure that Jewel's able to apply is absolutely insane. All right, what to do with the tome up throw? All right, that's coming down right about Ooh, now, but the, no target. Yeah, the book of basketball will not be read uh, today. <laughs> that, <laughs> I think that's the next uh, summer summer reading for Zamba. <laughs> right, Zamba continuing to chase right now. Again, Krom, you know, he's a bit of a, a I guess, a rage machine. I don't know if, if Robin's going to die anytime soon, but... I mean, if Jules not careful, he can lead himself into some dangerous play here. That was not having quite yet, but he is bleeding, and it is a grim look with a read on the directional air dodge. Is this it for your boy? Oh, nice tech! Ooh, one more taunt for good measure. Uh, and the vibe check uh, will okay. not be complete. There we go. A forward there. We'll close it out. Jules punching a ticket for top eight. Zamba finishing out at a respectable ninth. So that was fantastic. And we're going to give you guys a bit of a programming note right now. So we're streaming the first round of losers for both tournaments on both sides. 